That's it. Okay, so let's let's stay back um, in time. Sure. Let's let's go back to, I think when we first met, so 2008. Um, yeah, Dan, that's a while ago. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that long ago. Anyway, so that year you have a hit song in Sweden called "Without You" featuring Trey Songs, pretty much at the peak of Trey Songs' popularity. Right. Um, not not to say he didn't have a good couple of years after that, or that he's not. No, no, that was he, yeah, popular that was, now, but for sure, that was that. You know, every artist has a run or several runs, and that was one of his runs. Um. How, you know, how did all that work? Getting getting a feature from an artist that big, getting clearance from their label because you know he's he's signed. <laughs> it just sounds like a lot. So I'm gonna tell you a funny story. So let me answer your first question. Um, yeah. So without you, uh, T minus actually produced that record. Shout out to T minus. Um, it's a funny story because once I answer this question, there are follow up questions. But the the answer to that question is I actually got introduced to Trey through Drake. And I always wanted to do a record with Trey. And I remember it's such an interesting thing to look back and just know that I followed my gut. But when we recorded the song, I think we made the song a couple months. It must have been four months before the record came out, maybe five. It was it, it didn't you know, we didn't just knock the record out and drop it. And I remember it was right before Trey started really picking up steam. And I had two other featured artists that um, I was considering to put on the record. So it was between Trey Songs, Jay Holiday, and Bobby Valentino. And Bobby Valentino, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Mrs. Officer was out at the time. And Jay Holiday had bed. So they were both really... If, on paper, they made way more sense than Trey, but I just knew vocally speaking and the energy that Trey has. And I'm such a, I'm, I love Trey Holiday and Bobby Valentino's records as well, but I'm a really big Trey Songs fan. So I, I uh, decided to think irrationally and follow my gut. And I picked, I want not pick, I chose to reach out to Trey and he gravitated and we, to the record and we connected and, uh, um, it was an interesting, I actually spoke to someone about that earlier today. That song, the version that's out is so different from how the song initially sounded. The beat was very different. Trey added the bridge uh, much later. And crazy enough, the so the version that's out, the song got leaked. So we didn't, I was going to re rewrite and re-record some of my stuff, but the song got leaked and it was everywhere and this was when hot new hip hop.com and all these blogs were just and they had the hot and the very hot stamps and you know if it's very hot that shit is certified and i remember it was taken off and radio stations program directors in sweden called me because i had spoken to them a couple months prior said yo i'm about to drop this record in a few months I'm planning everything that festivals we were trying to you know sync coordinate some stuff and they called me and said we can't sit on this record anymore i know it's not officially released but it, we have to play it so you got to release it officially as a single now if you want our support so i i i officially dropped the version the song and i i cringe when i listened i think trey is amazing on the record but there's so many things i wish i could do differently so that was probably the most important lesson i learned don't just do shit because everyone else it doesn't matter you got to work in your own pace 